Hey everybody, thanks for coming by. Uh, I think this is a really cool song. I heard it uh, uh, and, and just fell in love with it. Everything about it I like. This is by Eric Messi Capone. I met him, I met him on uh, Instagram and uh, he came by the studio and uh, this is what we got. Um, now you can hear the, the vocal and the vocal has some reverbs on it. If you haven't already, check out the end of the where I show you exactly what I did on these reverbs. But right now, this, you, you see the, the, the bass. Now what I've done, uh, it's also an 808, by the way. I made a copy of it, and check this out. This is what we came up with. So, so let me solo just these, these uh, the, the bass is the 808. I like that. What I did was um, I have this EQ on the on the original sound. This is a copy, so I tuned I I, um, I tuned it, which I do with a lot of 808s. Make sure they're in tune because if they're in tune, they sound louder. And uh, this is a new little plugin from Native Instruments that I've I'm, I've been using a lot. It's called Byte, and uh, if if you pick it up, this is a good starting point. Check that out, and then. Uh, this is made by SSL. It's their uh, new plugin. I like that a lot. Low Ender, if you haven't tried this, I think I've shown you this before, but uh, this is a good place to start with that too. Real good plugin. And one of my favorites, uh, this HEQ, I forgot who used this, but I was cruising around YouTube and uh, I saw one of the newer producers using this, so I ripped it off. Um, and then uh, almost that preset, and then of course the Magic Black Box. So that's, that's here. But what I want to show you is the parallel. I'm, I'm going to play it. I'm going to shorten this sound because it's a little long, so don't be mad at me. But Here's without the parallel. Ooh, anemic. Even after all my stuff. Oh, you know what? Let's see what my stuff did. Oh, damn, that's cool. Okay, and here's with it again. Now let me show you what I did on this. Here's just the parallel by itself. It's amazing how things work sometimes. So track control, you know what that is. So I started with this Brainworks um, replication of the DBX120. I can't remember. It's, there's a number after that. Something like DS, 120DS might be. But uh, this is actually an improvement on that. It was a sub-harmonic generator in the analog world, and they did a great job of, uh, of, uh, of reproducing that. There's several versions of that out, by the way, of that particular unit. I, I had one, and if you heard any of my mixes in the 90s, that's what I used. And uh, this, 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 uh, this is a great starting point, by the way. Check that out. And then I've shown you this plugin before. It just creeps into a lot of things I do unexpectedly. It's just it just does so much so well, and um, uh, I'll show you I'll show you with or without it. Yeah, a lot. And then this is the only part of the frequency spectrum I really needed because remember I'm adding it back to the original sound. So I don't want to duplicate all the high-end information because then it'll get louder. This is just the frequency that I felt we needed to enhance the... the see what I'm saying? So that's why, that's why the A, B with it in and out is not, <coughs> it's not spectacular because we're just doing sub stuff. Cool. Okay, so... so, so and then this is... Uh, this is what we're really here to do and show and see and hear. This is the, the Roland Dimension D. Um, my first week in LA, uh, about two years ago, um, I bought a couple of these. Um, I'd heard that one of my favorite engineers, uh, Eric Thorngren, was using them. And I didn't know Eric or anything, but I bought one just because I thought his mixes were cool. And 
We don't really know what it does. Uh, I'm not sure the people at Roland actually really know what it does, but it, it's kind of a chorus. It's kind of a simulation of a small room. It's kind of a lot of things, but it was an, it was an analog piece of gear, and uh, you can still buy them. They're they're, they're very affordable. But this uh, UAD emulation is dead on. Now, what I would recommend is is to go through these switches. Like you can, you can, you can put all all four buttons in, but you have to use this. So now all four buttons are in. So now let's try one button. Number two. Number three. Number four. I like number one. Two is not bad though. No, that's wimpy. Three, three, one. Okay, you guys can't see them, but I'm gonna turn to Nico and Jaime. Which ones you guys like? Number one. Number one. Okay, so I guessed right. And that's it. What more can I say? That um, that just makes everything come alive. And and like I've I've said so many times before. In, in the mix, it just, it doesn't take the mix over, but it certainly, certainly uh, asserts its, uh, its ugly nature in there, which, uh, which just makes it sound better. Let's hear a little piece more. I like this. Um, let me find a different spot in the song for you. Man, don't you just love this song? I hope I hope you're gonna hear it on the radio soon. Um, keep an ear out for uh, Eric Macy. Eric Macy, keep an ear out for Messi. We call him Eric here, though. Uh, and thanks for playing along. We'll see you next time.